I won't tell you the name of the place where this tragicomic affair took place. In fact, it is my intention to misdirect you as far as possible. This is to protect the good name of those who were my parishioners. The events that occurred, in fact, are not at all edifying. It is difficult to believe that, because of the devil, an entire community in the grip of collective hysteria became drawn into a series of incidents that transport us back to the Middle Ages. Someday, perhaps, you may discover this location on your own, but the moral of the story would not change in any case. Therefore, consider what I'm about to tell you a simple parable. The village I'm talking about is situated in a canton in Switzerland. I'll give it a predictable name. I'd say Dichtersruhe, poet's repose, suits it perfectly. Dichtersruhe is nestled in a deep, narrow valley, nearly suffocated by the mountains, cut in two by a stream that often swells with the rains and that roars all year round, except in rare dry periods. The landscape's aspect reflects the character of its inhabitants, welcoming in the summer, severe and cruel in the cold season.